the fan switch. It's interesting uh, to see how they actually built it. Not many components inside. I probably took one a little while ago, but let's detail it. So it's part 87473. Can't find that online. Voltage AC there. It says fan here, light there, 1 amp max, 240 volts. So let's have a look inside. Let's see how they control this, how they change the voltage, I assume, on the output to get the fan speed to regulate very easily as you can see it's just two little clips one on that side one on the other side hooks onto the circuit board so not much holding it together a bit of silk screen tells you where there's resistors capacitors on it very very simple circuit as you can see so let's go through the effort of working out the circuitry and then there's a position switch here let me work this out and see exactly where it is and try to figure out exactly how this works We'll take some closer pictures of these things so we know exactly what the specifications are. We've popped off the top, take one of those two screws. What we can clearly see is that there's an unpopulated spot, which basically means that light spot, that's not populated. So there's no provision here for light. There's a bit more cell screen on the side. Nothing too, too revealing. But again, as I said, it's basic resistors and the capacitance is noted here it's just a matter of reading those values putting together a simple circuit i'm going to be lazy about this and do this up by hand this is a fairly simple schematic that came off of it the switch live comes in live goes into active 3 2 1 so it goes to gray first which is how it's connected gray comes on first the second thing is yellow and black is connected gray is connected the third is black alone connected and then of course the original position all off now if you look at it we have this piece here which i'll describe in a little bit so the first connection is gray which is a direct connection and we get full power to the fan which again fans are required for the torque for starting so you always start at the highest power so that's what we have there switch position number two we have the yellow and the black current flows through this and this Therefore, what you're getting is a parallel, resistors in parallel, we get twice the amount of current. Under the third scenario, what we have is just the black. Again, just power going through here, so it's going to be half as much as under the previous one. This here is a snubber. What it's meant to do is under normal conditions with a 50 hertz signal, you get about 32 kilo ohms here in resistance. Right, which basically if you go to 240 volts, it's about 7.5 milliamps. It's continuously running through this circuit. So even when it's switched on the zero, all off, the output is still live. It's an interesting situation. So something to note. But basically when we switch off completely, we go back up and we click live power and then gray off. There's a inductive spike created. This snubber network absorbs that R5 is 22 ohm and that is a 0.1 microfarad 10% 250 volts AC and again if you check that right the capacitive inductance is 1 on 2 pi C and if we put 50 hertz into that you'll see basically we end up with about 31,800 and something about 32,000 ohms right 32 kilo ohms that is negligible again that is in rush to ensure this thing doesn't end up in the wrong part of the cycle and charge too fast so all these capacitors are of course ac type capacitors and naturally the capacitors will be the wrong type to use here so it's a relatively simple circuit what is still left to be done and i still have a bit of understanding to get to that stage it's exactly why we have these values exactly why some of them are one watt some are less the bleed resistors are pretty much obvious the charging resistors smallest value you can get because you're restricting very low current very low power so that's fine why two microfarad why that particular spec capacitor why this value why this looks like about uh, probably a half watt and these look like one watts why exactly how much power is being pulled and that requires the fan side of things to be worked out and that I have not gotten to yet but I will probably at some later time look into this